And this is where the identities were born. Who's ready to prove the cosine of the difference of angles? This guy! What am I looking at? I'm looking at the cosine of the difference of these two angles. What's it gonna be? It's the cosine of A, cosine of B. These are the same, the signs are different. The sine of A, the sine of B. And then, we need to get a nice tight shot of this over here. Okay, not that tight, right. Let's come back over here. If we're looking at our unit circle, and this is the angle B, then that point right there on the unit circle is the cosine B, the sine of B. All right, and then if we're looking at this A, that point right there is the cosine A, the sine of A. What's the key to this is the distance, the distance between these two points. I want to perform an angular transformation down here. I've taken that guy where this is the difference of angles and I'm taking this little white line and I'm putting it right here and I'm claiming that those distances are the same. I just went and I went and that's where I'm at, there. So, the claim is these distances are the same. So I'm gonna need my distance formula here. So, that's the difference of the x value squared plus the difference of the y value squared. And then we're gonna take the square root right there. So, we need to look at these points. All right, so the distance from this one here to here, this is gonna be the square root of, wait for it, the difference of the x's. That's the cosine a minus the cosine b and then that dang thing is going to be squared. And we're going to subtract off the sine of A minus the sine of B. Whoa, whoa there. My colors got switched, but I think you know what I'm talking about. The sine of B squared, that guy right there. And then that's gonna be equal to this distance right here. So, can you see that behind me? Right on over here? Oh, I'll go backhanded. Yeah, yeah, because this is gonna be equal to, can you see, no, that's behind my head. Okay, I'll go forehanded. No, I'll go over here. So then, yeah, that's the square root of the differences of the x's, that's the cosine of a minus b, and that should have been in blue, minus one, that whole dang thing is gonna be squared, and then minus the differences in the y's. So then this one's in blue. This is the sine of a minus b, uh-huh, parenthesis, minus zero, and then that dang thing is gonna be squared. Get that root right over there. All right, I'm over here. And we're gonna clean this up by doing some algebra. But first, we square both sides. It gets rid of our roots. And now, we're left with these guys. I'm gonna multiply that out. I'm using my special products. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the cosine squared A minus two times the cosine A cosine B and then plus the cosine of squared b. And that's how this here multiplies out, see? Wow, this is gonna get tough. So then this is minus this entire quantity, plus, plus this entire quantity, the sine squared a, minus two times the sine a sine b, plus the sine of squared b, and then that is this guy expanded out. All right, and then that's gonna be equal to, ah, uh, dag, I think I've run out of room. So I'm gonna put that right here. So then that's that. And when I square that, I'm gonna get the cosine squared a minus b, this one times that one, double it. Minus two times the cosine of A minus B plus one. Now, here's the tough part and the part that people seem to miss. The sine minus that is just the sine. So when I square that dang thing, it's gonna be plus the sine squared 
A minus B. And now we're gonna clean this up. Cause I'm looking over here on this left hand side. When I see these two guys, the cosine of A and the sine of A, and both of those are squared, that's gonna be one. Fun. And then I also see the cosine of B and the sine of B, both of them squared. That's equal to one. Fun. Pythagorean. So then, on the left side, I'm left with these guys. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to factor out that minus 2. I hope I'm not stepping too many skips. Remember, you can rewind. Here, this one is the same as that one. So, no, those are different. But they both have a minus 2. So I'm going to do minus 2 times that quantity. The cosine of A, the cosine of B, plus, because I factored out that minus, the sine of A, sine of B. Now we're almost there, see? I'm gonna close that up and I'm done with my left hand side. Over there on my right hand side, that's this business down here. Whoa, wait a minute. Pythagorean once more. I see and explore the cosine squared, the sine squared of the argument, doesn't matter what the argument is, that's going to be one plus that one, then, it's going to be minus 2 times the cosine of a minus b. All right. Now I'm going to collect like terms. OK. That's 2 there. That's 2 there. So if I have 2 on each side, then I can just rid myself of those 2s. Ooh. Just think about linear equations. Let me write what I have now. I have minus 2 times the cosine a cosine b plus sine a sine b that's going to be equal to a minus two times the cosine of a minus b now stay with me the only thing i have left to do is divide both sides by that minus two and when i do i'm going to get that the cosine of a cosine of b plus the sine of a the sine of b that's going to be the cosine of a minus b and what do we see this guy right here, where the cosine of A minus B is that stuff. It has been shown.